Hey, my name is Russell and this is Windows Business Weekly. Today I'm going to show you how you can find recent Microsoft Edge tabs with the deeper Alt Tab integration that's now available in Windows 10 20H2. If you often have a lot of tabs open at the same time, I'll show you how you can go back to the last tab that you were working on without having to search for it. This will save you time and improve your workflow. Recently, I made a video on the Windows 10 20H2 feature update. Now, there are several new features in this update, but my favorite, and I think the most important, is the deeper integration that Microsoft Edge has in the Alt Tab or Task Switcher view. And because it's a really great feature, I just wanted to bring that out and dedicate a video to that subject and show you in more detail how it actually works and how it can make a difference to your workflow. Probably like me, a browser is an important tool on the PC that you're using every day for research, for running applications. And I don't know about you, but it's very common that I may have maybe 20 or 30 tabs open at any one time in the browser window. And that's all well and good, but having so many tabs open at the same time can make it really hard to go back and find what you were working on before when you switch to a new tab. So for instance, you're working on in a particular tab, you switch to a new tab, and then maybe 10 minutes later, you want to go back to the tab that you were working on before, but you've got to now find it in those 20 or 30 open tabs that you now have in the browser. Tabs appear in the order that you open them. So just switching back to the tab that's on your left isn't necessarily going to bring you back to what you were working on previously. Now, there are lots of ways to organize tabs. For instance, you can drag them around so you can order them however you like. You can pin tabs so that they always appear on the far left of the browser window. You can add tabs to collections. But all of these methods for organizing tabs require you to plan in advance. But now with the Windows 10 20H2 update, rather than having to either cycle through all of your open tabs using the mouse or the keyboard with control and tab, you can now just go back to the previous tab that you were working on, regardless of where it is in your browser window, by using the Alt Tab Task Switcher. So let's head over to the PC and I'll show you how that works now. So in versions of Windows prior to Windows 10 20H2, when you went into Task Switcher by pressing Alt Tab, Windows would show you the Microsoft Edge browser as an application. So each open window would be represented as an application in Task Switcher. So here I have Microsoft Edge open, and if I press Alt Tab, you can see on the screen all of my open applications, and I have one browser window open, and it's represented here as an application. I don't see what tabs I've got there, just that I have one browser window open, and that's it. Now, in Windows 10 20H2, the default behavior for Task Switcher is a little bit different. So if I press Alt Tab again, here we are in 20H2. What you see, instead of just the browser window being represented as a single application in Task Switcher, what you can actually see are the most recent five tabs that I've been working on in Edge. So here you can see, if I highlight it, the tab that's currently active. I've got a Google search open here, my Microsoft Office homepage, and we've got YouTube open there. And if I come down here, I've also got another YouTube tab open. Let me show you how this really benefits you in practice. So here I am on the art lists web page. And let's say that I want to leave that for a minute. I was going to look for some music, but I just want to go back to a YouTube video that I recorded before. So if you have a look here in the browser window, I'm going to switch to another tab, which is physically located in a completely different part of the browser window, much further to the right. So I'm back here now on my YouTube page. I'm going to do some work there maybe for seven or eight minutes. And now I've kind of thought, okay, I'm finished with that. And I want to go back to the art list page where I'm going to download some music for this YouTube video. 
Now the problem is I've forgotten exactly where it's located. You can see here on the screen that I have all of these tabs open in the browser window, but how do I go back to it? So all I need to do now is just press Alt Tab and it will take me instantly back to the last tab that I was working on. And that's how it works. So if I press Alt Tab again, of course, it will take me back to the other tab that I just switched from. And that's how Task Switcher works, whether it's applications and now with Microsoft Edge tabs. So what this enables me to do is to quickly move around the open tabs without having to search for them, either with the mouse or with the keyboard. I can just quickly go back through the recent tabs and I don't have to look for them. They're just there in my task switcher. And of course, that saves me a lot of time. Now, if we go back to how Windows worked before version 20H1, you'll see that's not really possible to do. So here I am back on my Artlist page. I'm going to download some music later, but first I want to go back to YouTube. So back here on YouTube, that's great. Here's my video. I've maybe worked on that for some time and now I want to go back to Artlist, but I'm not quite sure where that tab is located. Now the way that Windows worked before 20H2 was if I press Alt Tab, you can see now here that all I have is the browser window open. There's no option for me to go back to that recently open tab. So basically I have to find it myself somehow. So I can do that if I come back to the browser window, I can do that by control, shift and tab. And now I've basically got to scroll through all the open tabs to get back to the art list page or use the mouse and try and find it manually. Now, if you don't like the new behavior in 20H2, you can either change it or turn it off so that Windows works the way that it did before. All you need to do is open the settings app by pressing the Windows key and I. Once it's open, type multi into the find a settings box and then click multitask settings. Now you can see here that the default behavior for Alt Tab is to show the most recent five open tabs. Now, if you want to switch this feature off altogether, you can go to open windows only. Now, this is how windows worked before. Or you can, of course, just leave it set at the default. You can reduce the number of recent tabs shown to just three, or you can show all open tabs. Probably that's not a good idea if you have 20 or 30 tabs open at the same time in general, uh, but I leave it set to the five most recent tabs in Edge. So you can see how this is really going to save you time because it can be really frustrating to find those recent tabs when you've got 20 or 30 tabs open. The problem might be, of course, just remembering that this new feature exists because I'm always in auto drive and basically I will just go and try and look for the tab manually. I have to remember that actually I can now just go into Task Switcher and I can find the most recent open tabs really quickly without having to manually search through each tab, looking for where I was maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. So I really believe this is a great new feature in Windows 10 20H2, probably the main reason for me to update to this new version of Windows. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for similar content. You should see on the screen now a link to my full video on Windows 10 20H2, where I cover not only this feature, but all of the other new features in this release.